everyone. Welcome to Beer Geeks in Onesies. We are here at Sweeney's Ale House in Encino, California, craft beer heaven, where they offer 28 beers on tap and many more by the bottle. And we are about to embark on a little beer tasting with the help of the lovely Anna. Anna, where is your onesie? Yeah, I'm not gonna wear a onesie. Mm, I think we'll see about that. So Anna, that's a pretty nice onesie you've got on. Why, thank you very much. <laughs> so now that we are uh, newly converted beer geeks, um, we're gonna be taking on a journey, I guess, of what beers wine drinkers would like the most. So yes. what's our first beer? We are ready. Our first beer is the from Wandering Agnes in Oregon. It is the Anthem Cherry Cider. So not technically a beer. We're easing you into it gently. A cherry cider. This and is beautiful color, by like, the way. Like almost like a rosé. Just like a rosé. Like I know. Like Cheers. Cheers. Okay, let's get a whiff. It does smell like cherries, so that's good. It does. Very fruity. It goes down smooth. It's super fresh. Not too sweet. No, no it's not too sweet. Not too dry. It, not too dry. Say the name again. Wandering Agnes Anthem Cherry Cider. Wandering Agnes. Agnes. It's spelled a little like anus. Oh. If you want to make the G there's, silent. There's a tip for you. So I like to I like to add the a non-silent G. Next up, we have the Guden Bond from Leafman's in Belgium. Okay. All right. Flanders Flanders Ode Bruin, which I don't know if I'm saying right, but it is a Belgian style generally from the Flanders region of Belgium. And it's got a lot of kind of lactic, yeasty, a little sour at the end, but more akin to a lambic. Yeah. Which again, a little better for the, for the wine lovers. This one's definitely more beer-y. The it first is. one, again. exactly, yes. very true, it's very right. true. The first one was very soft and light. This Smelling one was getting us into it. Tasting it, the contrast is there. So it smelled very earthy, but it tastes a little fruity. Yeah. Yeah, so that's actually kind of interesting. So next up, we have the Cuvée Brut also from Leafman's. Okay. It is a creek beer, which is made from fermenting lambics with uh, sour Morello cherries. Oh, wow. Oh, Ooh. oh wow. The cherries are really strong. It's almost juice-like. Oh, mm -hmm. my God. Yeah. It's beer, though. Yeah, it's beer. No. It's beer-ish. It's like a hybrid beer. It is. Well, wait, so tell us the... What is a lambic? It's spontaneously fermented, so it's exposed to a lot of wild yeast. Oh, like quickly. And bacteria, okay. yes. So it's got a lot more of that kind of fruity, yeasty, it, again, kind of sour, but you can buy them and, you know, in bottles and a lot of winos really love. It's like, it's like, I can see this. you know, yes. carbonated wine-ish beer. Wine-ish yeah. juice. It, wine 100%. Juice. Juice yes. Beer. Like you want to get drunk, but you don't want to feel like you're drinking alcohol. There we have it. Well, this is my favorite thing we have on tap right now. Uh -oh. It is the Lilikoi Capolo from Ooh, Avery. Ooh, I like that name. From Avery Brewing out of Colorado. Oh, I would have thought uh, you'd say Hawaii. Yes. I know, right? It's a Hawaiian name. Lilikoi. From, yes. <laughs> from pretty much the exact opposite climate of Hawaii. It smells like a Riesling. So this is a, um, a wit beer, which is a Belgian style of beer, uh, an unfiltered high levels of wheat, oh my but God. it's brewed with passion fruit. Oh my Ooh. God. So this is, this is my favorite thing we have right now. What's the alcohol content on? Um... It's low, it's yeah, 5.6. Most wit beers are a little, drink a lot of this. Oh, I do, oh, I do. She does. I do. It's delicious. Yes. I would definitely order that. I will be very sad when this is gone. Oh, no. <laughs> yes. So next up, we have the Rose Royce from Rose. Beechwood Brewing and Barbecue in Long Beach. LBC. Okay. LBC. Yeah, yeah. I have no high five. Well, now you <laughs> do. <laughs> Yay. 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 That's right. Uh, this is a farmhouse saison style oh. brewed with several pounds of rose petals. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Yes. Rose Royce. I feel very fancy with this I one. I know. This is like Lisa Vanderpump should drink it this is. one. I'm not a it is. It is the pump kick. Or that's anything. right. The ro the rosé. It's really coming through with the rose petals. Is like the old lady hard candy. The little rose white round hard totally candies. Totally is. I don't know how I feel about this one. 
You don't know how you feel about this. Okay, one. so this one's definitely a little it's more bitter. Very, it's very, a lot of yeast going on. Mm -hmm. Saisons are generally, they're brewed in winter for summertime consumption because they're very refreshing. Yes. Very earthy. Yes. A lot of yeast going on in here. Wild yeast usually. I will say this. I'm not really a fan of those rose candies, so this could be it because this definitely tastes like it. For sure. Yeah. It does. It does. But it I definitely can see does. how in the summertime people would appreciate this because it is quite refreshing. It's very crisp. It's, it's very yeah. crisp. It's light. And oh. it smells very floral. It you does. definitely you, you definitely can smell get the yeah, rose. In the in the scent of it, yes. You totally can. Which is impressive. I mean that is impressive. Where are they getting all a these? A lot of rose from? petals. Yeah. <laughs> Do they have like a deal going on with a florist? They must. What they florist? also know a guy. They I know a guy in Colorado. They, they know a guy they in They know uh, a guy. Yeah, it's about, it's about it's knowing about a guy. Oh, now it's Shaolin Fist. That one oh, you really like. This one. Yeah. This one may be awesome. Because it's called Shaolin Fist. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the Kill Bill. Yeah. It is. Beer. The Kill Bill of beers. Yeah. Oh, I'll definitely do a move. Next up from Monkish out of Torrance, we have Shaolin Fist. <gasps> yes! Yeah. Yes! Yeah. <laughs> get, some, get some punches going on. Love it. This is a another Belgian style of beer called a double. Oh man! It's uh, brewed with peppercorns. Okay. You get a, it's a lot going on. Yeah. A lot going on with this. It Monkish uses so a lot of spices. Good. And this is sort of mid range as far as alcohol goes. A seven, seven percent. Not too strong. I need a little bit more than that. We're uh, <laughs> a we large, got we got two more sample. going on, and they're two uh, more. We're beefing it up. We're beef we're just, we are beefing it up. We're, we're climbing that staircase. <laughs> we are beefing it up. Next up, we have the Ovila Quad with plums from Ooh. Sierra Nevada out of Chico. Chico! Uh, this is a another Belgian style. This is a quadruple. So this is quite literally double the double that we oh, just had. Double the double. Uh, much intense, more malty, much, more, much higher alcohol, much stronger, brewed it with plums. It like bacon to me. Is that weird? You know what? I get that. I never would have... I never would have thought that till you just said oh it. I know. This is why tastings are so much fun. Yeah. It's everyone, everyone it kind of does. Detects something Which different. I don't it does. I bet this would be really good with bacon. I I definitely get the plums, like the dried yeah, the dried like yes. pruny. Like the yes, dried the sweet, almost yeah. almost like mapley flavor. I think that's probably why it would play well off the bacon too. It it's totally it's would. got kind of like well, a syrupy. That's the malty, yes. Mm, very high malt. Malty. Yes. Totally. I'd like some bacon. I'd like, I'd yes. like some normal bacon. Yes. That sounds fantastic. With eggs and that beer. That, that there you go. Breakfast the beer. breakfast of champs. That is a breakfast beer. There you go. <laughs> you want beer for breakfast? This is the one. So for our last offering. No. no. I have. I know. It's terrible. It is. It's terrible. We're going to have to come here nightly. Oh, we will. This is the new spot. Now that we're beer geeks. Yes. Well, and we have rotating taps. You'll Something never try new the same every thing. time. Every time. Exactly. exactly. I love it. And in Encino, you never know who you'll see. Oh yeah, a lot of celebrities wink, in Encino. Wink, wink. Fun-filled experiences Not here only in are Encino. The beer geeks here, but others. So this is the Beer Geek Brunch Weasel. From I know it's a mouthful. They named it after us. <laughs> the, the Brunch Weasels. The <laughs> Beer Geek Brunch Weasels. Uh, this is from McKellar out of Denmark. Okay. Denmark. And before we start, I should let you know that this is made from weasel droppings. Now, isn't that from the civet cat? Yes, that is out. That is correct. That Look is at correct. that. That is some obscure I just cat droppings. feline okay. information. Yes. <laughs> if I'm going to be ingesting poop, I want to know what antioxidants are coming along with this. <laughs> what are my health benefits I will, here? Let me elaborate. Yes, yes so please. So this is an imperial oatmeal stout with a lot of coffee. And the coffee, the civet cats, are very, very picky, and they only eat the best coffee. This is the most expensive coffee in the world. Oh, wow. So they eat And that. I have heard of this with the coffee, but never with the beer. Never. This is super exciting. Exactly. And they, the enzymes in their digestive system break down the coffee and then this is brewed with that coffee. Mm, so that is crazy. Those so I'm actually, I am, I am not mad about this beer. Okay. Yeah. Well, it definitely smells like coffee. It does. It does. Mm -hmm. It does, which I'm down with. I love coffee. It Anything. looks kind of like coffee. It does. It does. I'm that trying dark... to think if it also smells like poop, but. No. <laughs> no. I don't, I'm not getting the poop. No. I'm, get I'm only getting coffee. Fortunately. I, I can confirm that. it only smells like coffee to me. Yeah. Okay. It tastes a lot like coffee too. It does taste like coffee. I like it though. I bet this would be good with like like a milkshake. 
Yeah. Like a beer milkshake. Oh, a beer float. Yes. A beer float. Beer float. That beer is float. actually a thing. Yes. Beer floats. This you would can be name delicious. This one after the beer geeks now. Absolutely. We just had the breakfast beer. Now we have the dessert dinner. beer. The, the dinner. This dinner. is the steak dinner. The milkshake the steak dinner. dinner. Although, I really do feel like you guys should do a milkshake with this. I mean, it's oh, kind yeah. of complicated. The milkshake beer. Yeah. That's, what I'm, that's what I'm thinking. How that's a like secret in and out off menu. Oh, really? Yeah. Ooh. Well, no, it is now. Oh. Uh oh. I'm like, wink, wink. Uh -oh. Hey. Well, Anna knows secret menu shit. item, I know. When I know a guy. When Anna's in her wizard. I know costume. another guy. I make magic happen. <laughs> Come see Anna. You'll get the exclusive treatment. So that's going to do it for this excellent trip to Sweeney's Ale House. A huge thanks to everyone here and a big thanks to Anna for walking us through this fantastic beer journey. Yes, and as you have converted to beer, I hate to say it, converted to onesies. <laughs> we love it! We love it! We've converted you! <laughs> we are on Instagram at at Sweeney's Ale House, hashtag at Sweeney's Ale House, on Twitter at at Sweeney's Encino. Awesome, and of course, uh, you can follow us on Twitter at winos in onesies, although maybe we're going to have to change that. <laughs> uh, and a special thank you to Funzy for our loco onesies. For all of the onesies. For all of the loco onesies. And we'll see you guys next week. Uh, <laughs>